Around IT in 256 seconds by Tomasz Nurkiewicz. Episode 41. Unicode. Computers speak bits and bytes, numbers in general. When we say hello, it needs to be encoded to numbers. Conveniently, each character becomes one number. A number can then be stored, transferred and rendered on another computer. Therefore, everyone needs to agree which numbers represent which characters. The first commonly used attempt was called ASCII. In ASCII, lower case H is 104, whereas the exclamation mark is 33. There's one problem here. It's an American standard, so it ignores the existence of any other country and alphabet. It's 7 bits, 127 symbols. Over time, each country developed their own standard, mapping special characters to numbers. It was impossible to open a file without knowing the source encoding. This was painful and caused a lot of websites and documents to be rendered incorrectly. Having the same number reused for different alphabets is tedious and error-prone. So let's use two bytes. Here comes Unicode 1.0, a standard which mapped every character known to humankind into a 14-bit number. Well, not quite. I have a feeling that China, Japan and Korea already existed in 1988 and their alphabets combined are almost 100,000 characters. Also, there are other character sets like Braille, music notes or Egyptian hieroglyphs. Suffice to say, the current version 12.0 defines almost 150,000 different characters. Ok, so we can map national characters, dead alphabets and these funny emojis as numbers. Yes. Emojis are part of the standard as well. But how do we actually encode these numbers into bytes? Superficially, it's simple. There are way more than 100,000 characters, so we need at least 3 bytes. For practical reasons, let's use 4. Each character, officially named code point, uses 4 bytes on disk and over the network. This is rather wasteful, especially when 99% of characters are simple ASCII, that needs just one byte. It's known as UTF-32. To save on storage, we can use just two bytes for the majority of characters, but for these less frequent, we use four. So one character is sometimes encoded with two, sometimes with four bytes. It's more complicated, but saves a lot of space. Such encoding is named UTF-16. However, the most commonly used encoding is UTF-8. 8, which also happens to be the most complex one. It uses 1, 2, 3 or 4 bytes to represent one character. To make matters worse, there are emojis. You know, tears of joy, heart and poo pictograms. To make things more complex, some emojis use multiple code points. For example, there are skin tone modifiers that change the default yellow skin of emojis. Also, if you put a woman and a rocket emoji next to each other, you'll get a single emoji. A lady astronaut. I kid you not, it gets better. Placing a man, a woman, a girl and a boy next to each other renders as one family emoji. This means that a single symbol can be encoded with as many as 7 code points and 28 bytes in UTF. 32. This topic is way more complex, but let's stop here. Thanks for listening. Bye.